All right, the mic is on. Oh, Leo, is you gonna go over that way? Leo. Hello. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> it's a Happy nice Tuesday. day out. How was your day? It's been wild. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, how's my day? <laughs> <laughs> One of those days, uh -oh. I guess, yeah. Um, I, 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 I got, I almost have the registrations fixed on all the cars and trailers. Not all of them, but we're working on it. That's good. He's in. It's easy. Um, yeah, I think Chaos had a good birthday. So, so your puppy should be hitting in this section. Yes, yeah, she yeah. is. Oh, who is it? Ripple. Ripple? Are you Ripple? Are you Ripple Dog? I oh, she's so pretty. I think Chaos got a bath today from Haley, so not sure if Chaos that was good, but that's good. <laughs> it was a good day. All my dogs were very good. Ripples. Ripple and I went to Leahy today. It also gives me a chance to look at their confirmation. <laughs> She was good. She was a little nervous on the elevator. So we were riding up to the elevator, up and down, getting off, and then walking up and down the hallway and getting back on. You know but you're she not supposed good. to stand right in front of the elevator. No, yeah, I back up and let people off. And because you don't want somebody to, the door to open and someone go, hi, I dropped dead. <laughs> Which could happen. Where are you going now? They don't expect um, to I'm see a great big dog like that. So yeah. So both get on and off the elevator. You don't want to be yeah. right by the door. No, I, yeah, people, I'm surprised people coming around aisles. <laughs> they were like, oh, there's a dog well, here. Well, yeah, well, you keep in mind that mm -hmm. people have heart attack. Not your fault if they do, but let's try and not cause yeah. it. She was good. Um, so you guys were in the barn I today, tell Lily to leave, leave it. She's not chasing the guinea hands where I've seen, but. You were in the barn. You were in the barn. Did you enjoy it? You yes. Enjoy it? I love Working on her, I leave it. Dogs. Are you, how, what are you, how, how many hours of day, week are you coming or whatever? Uh, I'm doing 12 to 5 my star Monday people? Thursday right now. Hmm. For how many, you have a bunch um, of weeks? I'll that, say, I mean, yeah, Jagger, the, Jagger was probably my star yeah. today. For Clark. Uh, he was great. Kelly, we went to I, PBS, like did a lot of like downstairs. So you're supposed to learn something. Yes. <laughs> we'll try um. to figure that out later. <laughs> <laughs> he was very good. Okay. Very good case. Lots of things, though. No. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm sure. It's a different place. It is. It's um. I've spent time in barn environments before. I've worked horses for eight years, but it's slightly different here. It's, oh, it's different. It's the same type of community <laughs> feel, but it's a different, obviously, species. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other thing you have to learn about from you know, coming from horse environment. Donkeys are different. Donkeys are different. I, we had a few donkeys at the barn I rode at, and they're, they're very different from horses. You were my other star today, huh? They, yes, they you like were another star. They, they well, you, you gotta be careful there. Yeah. Donkeys are smarter. They're very much like dogs. Yeah. And a lot of people give donkeys a bad reputation. They, they're very smart, and they, they won't do anything they don't want to do. <laughs> do you know why? Why? They're careful. They will do the most amazing. I've had donkeys in places you wouldn't believe. I used to drive eight of them, you know, wow. like the Budweisers. And I have driven them in through hotel kitchens into ballrooms with Santa Claus, with antlers on and things. You can, donkeys are so much more reliable than horses, but you have to explain things to them. Yeah. They're not gonna take any chances. How long did you have a horse? Um, I rode for eight years, but I rented in the summers. Oh. I was never able to afford having my own horse. Oh, my so, you don't, so you don't know how many times they lacerated themselves on something, or how many times they were lame, or whatever. Uh, I did in the summer. Uh, I rented a horse, it was my responsibility. All summer I was at the Hi. barn. Did he cut, cut his head, and did he do any damage to himself? Um, once he got a laceration in his, um, hoof and that was... <laughs> okay, I've had donkeys for 40 years. I've never had one of them lacerate themselves. Hi. Wow. They don't. 
they 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 do tend to be tougher than horses. No, they're right? smarter. <laughs> if you if a horse gets his foot stuck in a fence, he'll back up and tear all the bits and tear the fence down, break his leg, and all sorts of. If a donkey gets his foot stuck, they Bobby, my foot stuck in the fence. <laughs> Hi, and he'll stand there and wait for you to get him on time. Hi, Ribbles. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. hi. That is true. Hi. They will not. There's not. Hi. Do you know why horses wear blinders? So they can focus? Um, let's see. Do you have to go more? No. Yes. Just because they're afraid of the tiny carriage. Just behind. trying to. We're they, managing they, without chasing. Maggie for a week, but. And that's why they run faster because they're they definitely run away working harder today in this week. Things like that. The only but horses I've had. We'll survive blinders, without her. Very distracted because we didn't. Well, these are driving horses. Oh, yes. Little Leo is horse. in the house. He got neutered today. Yeah. And Rick was in the house for the overnight. They don't have blinders on. So, the two puppies that in the house. That was start. That was four. I am. Um, are we interrupting your talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Um, it's barn stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Horses and donkeys. Well, it's, you say they're careful, like some of these dogs. Hmm? The the dogs are careful. They just still be like, "What do you right. mean?" And you gotta be like, yeah, like Ripple stay on the it. elevator. We got and she was like, "What is this?" And I was like, "We just walk on." And then we get off, and she was like, "Okay." But at first, she looked at it like when the door, and usually when the first time the door is closed, they're like, "We're trapped." I'm like, but we're gonna get off in a minute, you know? <laughs> it's okay. That's the donkeys, I mean, dogs are dogs are more like donkeys than they, they care for. Mm -hmm. But horses are so. Although you can get into trouble with a dog, some people take their bag, their poopy picking bag, and t tie it to their leash, and then drop the leash, and all of a sudden the dog sees that chasing, and it's coming after them. And when they move, it comes in, and they run away like they'll break their still get killed. So that they do have that instinct. But if you explain it quickly to a dog, they're fine. Yeah. But they don't, people have been hurt, dogs have been hurt badly with that. Nodding your head, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't I tie do. them, a, you know, you've got to get them used to it. I mean, I, I've got I've got wagons we could put on the dog if we had a chance to break them to it. You know? Things following them. Yeah. I feel mm. like a horse would be the same way. Horses are the same way. That's why they wear the blinders. Remember, I've only driven a horse once. It was a mini horse. It was like two little mini horses. I went to a pony camp one summer, and they taught us how to do all the different things. They do the acrobatics on the horse, and you stand on their back. And they also taught us how to drive. And the mini horses did not want to cooperate whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best horse around here is the mule, Mo. Yeah. And we have a full harness horse. We have full harness for, my, for a lot of things around here. Yeah, well, where's my picture of her pulling? Right in your hand. In, down, in. Oh, right here. Yeah. No, there's two. Oh, that's me driving. That's me driving the donkeys. It's this one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me have the picture here. of that one. You can have both. See the, see the one in front? Yeah. Not a strap on him. He's just walking. And this is in the middle of Newbury, Newburyport. Thousands oh. of people at the parade. We finally put a balloon on his head so we could find him. <laughs> like Wanda? You couldn't do that with a horse. You really no couldn't. No way. The balloon would probably freak it out. Oh, it, well, it just wouldn't. And this is Mo, who's a perfectly trained driving horse because she's come out of the Amish country. Nice. I, Mo's so sweet. I was passing she's very her nice. earlier. She's very nice. She can get opinionated. She did that, she did that what, three times? And the fourth time Janine asked her to do it, she backed up and backed up and backed up. <laughs> Knocked everybody over. <laughs> Not there to play games. Dun, dun. So we know a little bit dun, about dun, that dun, stuff. Yes, you can take that back, though. <laughs> I was just checking to see what time it is. Yeah, we leave them in there, and then if there's an emergency, the secretary would hear it, and she'd answer it. But other than that, you're not supposed to happen. No, or, that's totally fine. I get it. Or chew gum. Gum chewing is not allowed either. <laughs> <clears throat> what are we doing? We're after right. five. Yep. I'm going to say, you ready to take over? Okay. You got some help? Probably. Oh. 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 Oh.
We have these new interns here for the summer. They're supposed to learn something. It's going to be a struggle. Are you going to teach them how have, to... Have we got a whiteboard, huh? So are you going to teach them how okay. to do the um, Twice splicing? Row. Oh, yeah. This, this stuff right here. Yeah. I will do that tomorrow. Tomorrow. Are you here tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Who's got a whiteboard? Any, at Pam? Yep, I'm right here. <coughs> okay, we have Linda from Great Barrington, Massachusetts. See you guys take care. See you tomorrow. I thought Hi. Great Barrington was in Vermont. Uh, Are you sure they got it right? I don't know. Isn't Great Barrington? Stop. Huh? Somebody's going to tell you. Somebody's going to tell me right now. Service dog project. Go lay down. Leo, lay down, buddy. I beg your pardon. Try it again. We have Great Danes. What about them? Do I give them separates? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm having trouble understanding you. Here, hold on just a sec. Can I try this? I can't hear it. I can't understand it. Hi, may I help you? We train our own Great Danes to be service dogs for the mobility disabled. Do you need a Great Dane for mobility issues? Okay. How old are you? Okay. Do you have a website access? Why don't you visit servicedogproject.org and then on there it tells you all about us. No, we don't adopt, we don't adopt them out. Therefore, for service dogs. Yes, you get them for free, but you have to go through the process. So if you visit the website, you can learn about us and send us in an inquiry or come by and visit. Are you in Massachusetts? Are you really ding-toed like that, or is that... Okay, so if you visit the website, it tells you all about us. You can send in an inquiry, and then you can get yourself into the system. You're welcome. Bye now. I had trouble understanding that person. Um, There was some kind of a Some kind of problem. problem. Hey, are you standing that way on purpose, or are your legs always that way? Is, that, is he always like that? He's a lot of feet, foot, yeah. Huh? Yeah, he's... No, I mean, he looks like he's... Duck-toed? I, I would have to watch him more often. I have to watch him. Okay, donation is in honor of Bumble, Aww. service dog for Scott of Pittsfield, Mass. Okay. Wasn't that wonderful? Thank you very much in honor of Bumble. There we go. And you can have that one. Thank you. And we have Jan Gerhold, Jan mailed on the 29th. Mailed on the 29th. And we have money for the fun fund. Admit it, life would be boring without me. Hmm, okay. Snapple, real fact. Beavers can hold their breath for 45 minutes underwater. I've heard of that one. I have bad news and good news about your computer. First, it could be quite a while before you can answer emails. And what's the bad news? <laughs> okay. I, I try and keep up on my emails. Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda. Those kids are going to be here, what, five days a week? Uh, four and four. Five days a week, yeah. The 20 hours, four days, really. Five, so how, many, how many weeks are they doing this? Six weeks. So we got some help. Correct, yep. They'd be good help. Yep, they'd be good. Okay. Drinking rum and coca cola. Okay, and we have Elaine. Elaine W. He's not that ding toad. At least he's not right now. He just needed some company. Aren't they spoiled? So 
I tell you, this whole, this whole tribe, it gets lonely. Hi, Carly, just a few dollars for the fun fun. Thank you for the beautiful Danes that changed the lives of so many. That's a C.P. Elaine from Ohio. Okay, and we have Todd Mudge here. Todd and Elaine, no, Jean Mudge. Todd and Jean Mudge. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. And this is for, seems to be that's for chicken bird. I need to have Todd and Jean Mudge and one on that. And we have Suzanne from Freeville, New York. What's your last name, Mudge? Mudge, M-U-D-G-E. Yep. Thank you. There we go. Well, that's gotta go in here. That's gotta go in there. And Suzanne from Freeville, we talked about that already. And we have a letter. And clothes, please, fine. Money for chicken brick. At a dollar for the fun fun. Thank you very much. Okay. Dollar for chicken brick. And one for the fun fun. So that goes in there. And we have poo pickers. Poo pickers. Okay. We did that. And then we have here Ed's new grandmother. Oh, okay. Joan from Mansfield, Mass. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, boys. Doesn't it have a fancy way of rooting in the wood? <coughs> I'm also very happy to report that we have two inches of coins in the coin jug again. I know, it's, it's, it's growing, up, isn't it? It's growing. That's what I'm hoping. This is awful heavy. I was wondering what's in it. Look out, everybody. I thought there was a fast way of opening this. There's not, huh? Okay, we'll do it the hard way then. I'll do it this way. And there all, whatever's in here is all going to come out. Get all over the place. Okay, we have poo pickers. There we go. Now, I don't think there's a letter in the bottom. If there is, we'll find it later, right? Okay, and who was that from again? I was. Don't ask me, it's on the other side. Oh, well, well, I already told you what. Here, can you do it? Oh, yeah, I'll try. Uh, Ed's new grandmother. Oh, Ed's new grandmother. What did that well, All right, I'm going to write Ed's new grandmother. We probably ought to. Ryan, have you got another box around? Yeah. We ought to see if there's a letter in the bottom that we're not reading. Okay. Telling us how wonderful Ed is or something. Drink your rum and the Coca Cola. Come here, buddy. Ripple, come, come. Come on. There we go. That's good. Oh, you're going to hold it like that, huh? Okay. okay. That's not going to work. Is that going to work forever here? For me? Hold it? Yeah. Nice white ones. I haven't found a letter yet. There are some white ones in here to, to be for the people who write on poop pickers. Find a couple white ones. There we go. 
Okay, it's all yours. thinking of supper? You are. We have gravy for your pork tonight. Oh, gravy Isn't for that pork. wonderful? There's a little stuffing. There is stuffing. And lima beans. And lima beans. Put butter on them. And potato. And potato. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, looking up. Life is looking up. Mm-hmm. Woot, Elaine, Elaine. Yay, Miss Elaine. Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda, Jan and Judy, hugs to everybody that could use one too. Sheila too. <laughs> everybody can use hugs. How smart the dog. Oh yeah, remember when they fell in the don donkey tub? That was very unusual. Yep. I don't know how that happened. She yep. died. Carlene Great Barrington is in Southwest Mass, just north of Sheffield. Huh. And there's no Great Barrington in Vermont. Okay, is there a Great Barrington in Vermont? That is the question. Okay. Oh, hi, yo. Me, yo, ma, yo. Hi, Nanny. Can we talk about the shoes? Oh, thank you. Yes, just got them. Needed some spring oh, shoes. Wow. Skechers. But Skechers. I got them at Kohl's. I, I, I ran out last night. I ordered them. I didn't have spring. I didn't have sneakers. Huh. And I actually got a deal. They were thirty-seven dollars. Wow. Yep. And they're that maybe because they were so colorful. I don't know, but they work for this joint. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and they're slip-on, which I love. I love too. Yeah. So, thank you. Now let's talk about slip-ons. One of my most cherished possessions around here is my long-handled um, oh. shoe horn. Oh. Which you really need when you have stretchers. Yeah. Now, there is another one around here, a red one, and I can't find it. I have the black one in there, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare touch it. It's mine. But there was a red. I thought it hung here for a while. You know, and really with Skechers, you really need a, a shoe, a long-handed shoe. On. You kind of do, because it's slender when you're sliding your foot in. It's not yep. wide. Yep. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes peeled. It's around. I have seen it. All right, we're looking for the red shoehorn. Red shoehorn. Somebody probably already knows where it is. Do we still need white poo pickers? They're, they're kind of nice to have a few of them. I, yeah. I get back about three quarters of an inch a day. Yeah. And those are the ones you take to the how, how, uh, visit. Yes, that's true. Yeah. How are my dogs? My dogs are doing great. Thank you for asking. Did you get the picture of the puppies I had of your dogs? I found a picture of your puppies. Hmm. I've forgotten where I found, <laughs> found oh. it now, but. Online? No, oh. it's not mine. We were looking for pictures to send to somebody. Hmm. Hello, Skechers. It's Bennington, Vermont, if that's what you're thinking Bennington, of. Bennington, maybe. Hope Nancy's knee replacement went well yesterday. How did Chaos become a house dog? Was she ever anything else? Yes, actually she was. Really? When I first started, well, I don't know. All well, I know is artist, when <laughs> when I first started, she had already had a litter on camera. However, at that point in time, she was living in the back room where my dogs are for a while. And then she was living over here in Deagle for a while. Really? 
because I remember taking care of her in both places and then she was in the house. And that maybe she was out of the house because you had other mothers. That's all I know. Yeah. So. Well, I'll tell you one thing about chaos is she lets you know what she wants. Right. Because even with Linda here today, I had the other two in the C-A-R and I was just sitting down there reading or whatever I was doing, I don't know. At any rate, I could hear this barking and barking, and it was chaos, and she wanted to get in the car with everybody else, and so mm -hmm. I let her in, which was very strange because Linda was up here. But anyway, she wanted to ride yeah, in the car. Yeah, she was with you for a long and time, And then there too. are days when, you know, you can't, you, you call her to go for a ride in the car, and she won't move. Won't move. So, you know, she decides what she wants to do, and that's the way you do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Did chaos get anything special for her birthday? Um, I don't. She got a she got a, a tiara, a neckerchief, and a and a banner that said "Happy Birthday." <laughs> um, what did Chaos do? She went for a, a ride. Um, she did. My dogs are good. Let's go back up here. Barrington in Rhode Island. I'm still struggling. Great. Barrington in Rhode Island, one in Illinois, but none in Vermont. Hmm. Oh, okay. Has Carlene been drinking rum and Coca-Cola? No, but I used to. Uh, Carlene and Pam, Great Barrington is 30 minutes south of Pittsfield by the Connecticut border. Thank you, Scott and Bumble. What are you doing? Ah, uh, la 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 la. Got a long-handled shoehorn for my husband at Ikea. Do you have Ikea? We do. We have one Ikea, I think, in Taunton or Randolph or something. Yeah. I don't know. But that's like a going it's to a, Disney. It's a, it's, a, it's a wall. It's a three. What? It, what? Try. What, what, right there. In what, here? What is that? What is that thing? Oh, that's a blue one. Is that a blue one? Yeah, blue shoehorn. Aha. We better have that out so you can use it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But there that's is, not what you're It's not the red for. one. There is a red one. I dropped a, a spring or something. All right, so let's leave that there. What did I just drop? Nothing. I, was, I think so. It was a ring. I'll look for it. Oh, ring. Right. A little thing. But is it red like this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you went away and left him. <laughs> that was a bad thing. <laughs> Bud said previously, Chaos has the loud bark of her dad, Bobby. That could be. Is that Bud? Our Bud. No, um, someone Bud. said that our Bud oh. said that. I, I, I assume. Okay, and then, um, so we're having pork for dinner. Grace is on overnight. Any other questions? Why was she asking about rum and coke? Was that something that happened before? I just started to sing it when I saw the Coca-Cola. Oh, I see what you're saying. I missed that. Sorry. I thought... Uh, um, okay. I think that's it. Anything okay. for you? Nope. I'm ready for dinner. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night. We'll talk to you later.